I am the luckiest man on earth. Well, the fanciest, maybe. No. Where are we going? We're going to a wedding. Because huh? I thought it would be educational for our future. You are adorable. Tomorrow, I go back to Dr. Kessler. It's been six weeks. Are you nervous? I just don't want to tell her. Tomorrow, you... No, I, I don't... I don't trust her. I know that she's a good person, but if I tell her about us or about what happened... The center hired her. She can't hurt you. No, but she can send me back. And do you really think we'd get to be together in there? No. I love you. And you're the only person in the world that I trust. So I need you to trust me too. Okay. I love you too. And I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. I'm interested in ethics. One of my favorite topics. Anything in particular? I've been reading about the internment of Japanese citizens during World War II. I've always been an avid reader of nonfiction, but it's only recently that this particular subject has interested me. Hmm. Does Graham read the same books as you? Do you guys discuss them? No, we read independently. He prefers fantasy. I myself have had enough of that. I find myself sympathetic to the plight of the Japanese citizens in the camps, ripped from their homes. Do you also read about the Holocaust? There's some fascinating books written on that subject. I'm less interested in that, not because it wasn't horrific. It was one of the most disturbing things I've ever encountered. But when facing those camps, the modern layman would never hesitate to decree them an unbelievable abuse. The Japanese camps, however, because they were housed and fed for their protection, many people are ambiguous in their feelings. Many think it was perhaps necessary for national security. Do you think you were unnecessarily detained? It's a question I've been asking. I was a child. Did I have no next of kin? Even if, if my parents died in the accident, are there none who share my blood? Well, tomorrow have you have expressed your own anxiety about your powers and you have told me that the accident was, in fact, intentional. I understand that I posed a threat. But why wait so long to return me to the world? Why work so hard to keep me easily controlled? Why? Do you discuss these issues with Graham? Yes, he thinks I'm too harsh. Do you think he tells the center everything you say? That's an odd reaction. All right, Dr. Kessler, let's stop speaking in code. What is it you want to know? Okay. Has Graham made a move on you? Yes, Graham and I are sleeping together. We're planning a June wedding. Actually, we're thinking of inviting the director of the center to see which one of us he shoots first. Wow. I missed quite a bit while I was in the hospital. Yes, I developed sarcasm. And like many colonized people, the desire for autonomy. Do you consider yourself under colonization? No, I wasn't held for bragging rights and resources. 
It's more like the case of Aung San Suu Kyi from Burma. They kept me prisoner because they are terrified of me. And if they keep trying to control me, they should be. <laughs>